Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough legendary difficulty with Grandmaster mode enabled. I changed the PC setup and we're continuing still the same playthrough. So we've skipped as mentioned a hundred days so let me give you a nice little rundown of where we stand. For starters We've gotten ourselves a couple of seats, as I promised beforehand, and we have successfully researched the Blue Sea, which will give us access to yet another uh, boss battle that is going to happen at some point. In terms of uh, the ship upgrades, all that has happened uh, was the Libris Malleus has failed. It's currently in the process of being repaired. And other than that, we upgraded uh, the augmentation chambers so we're almost very close to a full upgraded ship i think the regeneration unit 2 is the only thing that is missing other than that we have really yeah pretty much um, created a fully upgraded ship which tells you we're nearing the end of the game in terms of barracks uh, the team that you've seen beforehand uh, that we have played so the stun brothers have uh, reached level 9 but uh, I will introduce you today to our new team which is going to do a damage over time loadout it's definitely not going to be as good as the other uh, combinations that I've played but it might be an interesting one nonetheless so that is basically what has happened let's take a look at uh, the overall landscape as you can see we have a few bloom missions that uh, just came up specifically uh, mm, uh, talking about a seed carrier um, right here seeding the bloom mission then we got another mission here spreading the bloom those two we're going to do in the next two episodes and then over here we got our Malathian, the Harvester, Questline, the Blue Champion of Nurgle. And we're going to get uh, to him as well. As you can see, elsewise we're in a relatively good shape, I must uh, say, for almost a thousand. But uh, that might be deceiving. It's always easy to kind of lose hull integrity or a negative event is happening. Anyways, let's focus our attention to the actual stars of the show today, the new team and the idea behind it. I got effectively two ideas uh, and one I want to implement now. And maybe we do have time a little bit later in the playthrough to just check another idea as well. So we're going to uh, go into that mission without a side condition. All right, here we go. So I said I had two ideas. One is optimizing astral aim, which we're going to do in a maybe later setup. And the other one is trying to use underutilized stuff. The way that I'm seeing Chaos Gate's meta is that damage over time and a couple of <coughs> weapons, such as the Flamer, are effectively not as good as uh, the other options. But I will not falter on them before I haven't at least tried to give them a fair chance. So what this team is trying to do is, is trying to use the, sorry, needed to turn down the, tune down the music a little bit. So what this team is trying to do is, it's trying to utilize the available resources um, that the game gives me to put in damage over time. And I need to show you something right here. Under the settings, there is even a stat and resource uh, compartment. And it gives you a bit of an uh, under boons and inflictions. It gives you basically an overview about all of uh, the boons and afflictions. One of which is bleed. So we're going to use that. Blinded might be something that could be interesting, but mm, we're, we're, we need to see if we have the points for that and we're going to use burning and <coughs> you might think that any of these others is great as well and to be fair some are but these are the only two that really deal damage so our main shtick will be to use bleed and burning and let uh, the enemies die of that however there are a couple of other problems with that 
Um, the problems mainly being that the enemies have time to um, strike us back and since this game is a very kind of alpha strike driven game we want to make sure that we're keeping up uh, with the damage or at least that we are able to mitigate it so how do we do that we got a paladin here i want to use the storm shields and um, our paladin is going to spec into really the defense uh, tree and, and the melee uh, tree i am thinking about maybe going into astral aim a little bit later just to see if we if we can do something with that but that's not available right away we do have a fully leveled librarian mainly because i ran out of uh, slots and the librarian will go into uh, the sanctuary discipline where it can uh, create armor for everyone and that should at least counteract some of the damage that we're going to uh, take on top of it they can stun if if needed um, and they do have the bolter uh, discipline so um, mainly the sanctuary is interesting here we we gave them a staff that allows uh, for 100% midi um, uh, shield uptime so they will be using their own um, shield quite often and will be giving a shield to everybody else so these two are our front line so to speak and then we got uh, the damage dealers we're coming in with a purifier essentially uh, having permanent flames so the moment that someone starts to burn they are as good as that and our job will be to make sure that they continue to burn over and over and over unfortunately um, damage over time isn't stacking so once someone has um, caught fire you can't just fire uh, fire them again which is really unfortunate we gave them a uh, the best flamer that we do have available with a decent range actually and that flamer also um, puts up 100 percent burning in order to un uh, use underutilized grenades i put up red grenades which um, we do have four red grenades with seven bleed that is crazy that is a high amount of bleed and we got psychotroke uh, grenades which will create the crazed um, condition 50 percent chance that they attack each other instead of us so that's not bad Th those are essentially defensive um, mechanics and then finally we got an apothecary which is going to act as a damage dealer in this uh, composition and from an ability scheme i have started using scouring um, also upgraded the bleed so with that we have four four bleed uh, in here and i potentially want to go into emperor's judgment down here or uh, we're going to here and we're using hailer skulls so that um, we keep the enemies busy whilst the the damage over time ticks so basically what this team is trying to do is we're trying to craze the enemies so that they attack each other and we do have hailer skulls here um, so that the enemies will attack basically the Hela skulls instead of us and we do have a whole lot of armor uh, as with the stratagems we're following that same logic we got armor for everyone we got uh, resistance for everyone so very super defensive stratagems and then um, the gateway to infinity just for teleportation and ease plus uh, heal for everyone uh, whenever it is needed. We also got a couple of um, Medikai Skulls. Uh, these here are finally Medikai Skulls number three. So we use uh, the support um, equipment to our fullest extent. And that's really it. Now I just need to name these guys after some of you and we're ready to go. All right, quick update. We got Kale after one of our regular subscribers, Bottigliero after one of our Italian subscribers, and Rosa Balfundro after one of our Warhammer enthusiast subscribers. I like it. Welcome to the team, everybody. Let's see if my idea of a um, damage over time team actually starts to work out. Here we go. Our prognosticas have augured a rampant outbreak of the blue following the battle underway here. Our goal, Commander, is a rapid intervention and strike. Extract or destroy the foul seeds below before they take root.
good. We got Seed Bearers. That's typically not as problematic as the others. I think we do not have an Extractor. <clears throat> yeah, that's a bit of an issue. As you will. More horrors invade our realm. That is a bit of an issue, but I'm here to test the build. Your orders? Seeds are secondary in that. The Emperor lights our path. Yes, Commander. As you will. We didn't have the skills yet to My blade is yours. to properly equip everybody with the right skills. Hence, we needed equipment to basically ensure that we're not getting overrun. So we're running into the first problem with these guys. Enemies that do have massive amounts of hit points are of course an issue. And 60 hit points... That's, that's not good. Alright, Cleansing Flame. Before we're doing anything here... Standing ready. I am Paladin to the front line. And let's get our damage dealers in a decent position. Good. Well, my problem is we already have a couple of affliction resistances. Uh, yeah, so we need to purge these resistances elsewise. That big boy will continue to be a problem. What is your will? Your command. Okay, um, let's move to here. I am here to serve. And I'm careful not to engage too soon. So, we would have the crazed grenades. That could be a great way of simply turning these guys against each other. Alright, the big guy is still not, uh, not perched. I don't like that. I like our flamethrower. Decent range. Not great, but decent. And <clears throat> let's continue with burning with these guys. There you go. There was the purge. Now he's burning. Should have done that beforehand. Okay, lesson learned. You need to purge first. Unleash me. Next up, let's do this. Again, next up, we're going to use our defensive stratagems. Lots of resistances. And lots of armor. Good, see? 18 armor, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Let's go, baby. On my way. I am the Imperial <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Now I want to stay in full cover. This over here is a little bit better still. Not going to use the hater school, not yet. I knew it. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> there we go. Yeah, my dude, I got the block. Alright, the burn is actually real. Uh, Praise mm, the Emperor. That's working relatively well. I like what I'm seeing. Feel my rock. Oops. The enemy weakens. I am his will. Very good. <clears throat> we are the hammer. Okay, so is burning stacking or not? Are these debuffs stacking? That's a question. No, it, and that therein already lies the problem. I think debuffs would have been much better if you would have let them stack. Nail the hammer. Now we're trying to hit through the massive Red defense of that thing. Listen, we got bleeding on our border. There you go. Now this guy is bleeding and burning, right? Cool. Good hit. Good. This here could deal some more damage. And who's getting the kill? Who is My getting the kill? I think the librarian simply because we need the weapons on him. Okay, first few impressions, couple of learnings. Number one, uh, we need to be better at um, at cleansing enemies because that's uh, the resistance 100% is a real downer for what we're trying to do. Secondly, high hit point targets are a problem. Thirdly, we have an absurd amount of defense. That's good. So that's a positive learning. Unleash me. All right, let's go, baby. I smell your warded souls. Down that putrid thing. Well, there you go. Affliction resisted, and we got four Chaos Space Marines, so that's kind of as hard as, um, as an enemy team gets. Praise the Emperor. Um, let's use a couple of things. For starters, can't really reach these guys. But the psychotrope grenades have done a good job so far. All of them are crazed. Fantastic. My blade is ever ready. Unleash me. 
moves to over here. One of them will be immune. That is to be expected. The other three are bleeding. Fantastic. That's a good start. Um, let's hit them a little bit. Okay, that's still good. Feel my wrath. Your orders? Standing ready. Okay, before anyone moves, uh, let's put the Emperor lights our path. Charge you off. Uh, no, we're going to here. What is your will? We're going for half cover here, and this will allow us to buff Sanctuary. Very good. Well, we're still good on the will points. Haven't really taken any damage so far. That's great. Moving up. Cool. So that worked very well. My blade is ever ready. They're already bleeding, but what they aren't is burning. So unfortunately we gotta move a little bit forward without a lot of action. And since they are so nicely in full cover, there isn't really much that I can do. Other than hitting them with a warp smite. work well that was a good turn for us unleash me your orders your command taking permission charge you along cow mm, good hit I like it. Unleash me. Yeah, he's immune to Psy. Okay, we're just going to normally I kill. Every death what is the blue. Good, the paladin moves in. And we're just going to keep our defensive playstyle up and running. I like it. Okay, we could hit this guy. Your orders. How many hit points does he have left? Twelve. None shall evade my cleansing fire! Burning, perched. Uh, careful not to be caught out of position here. It's not helpful either. 
He does have a plasma gun. Full cover it is for us. And... He's already bleeding. Yeah, might as well just take a shot. Cool. So he bleeds. Hmm, bleeding seems to stack if it is from different sources. That is interesting because we do have bleeding here from two different sources and it definitely stacks. Burning on the other hand doesn't seem to stack. Mhm. Mm okay, so that's eight points of damage. Not bad. Okay, we're just moving down. Getting a little bit closer and in the meantime supporting our position. Okay, the damage over time isn't totally bad. Granted. We're, we're using a lot of end game equipment in order to make this one here work. Okay, so... I think you could use... Some willpower. Problem is these poxes grounds have made it impossible. Well, in that case... Just go through the armor. Kill him. And we good. Ready. It will be done. Meridian. It will be done. Interesting. Interesting way to play. Very, very uh, new and different to what I've done beforehand. And that's what I like about those blind playthroughs, right? You can always mix and match, experiment a little bit. Defense. Of course, I could just finish the game with the same combination and then tell you guys, you know what, the best combo is that and that, but how would I know without having tested the others and having formed a decent opinion about them? And maybe I've missed some. I still want uh, to test the Astral Aim. If that's any good, I do have a couple of ideas about how to make it work, but it is, again, very gear dependent. Alright. Unleash me! Moving swiftly, fast! So, one thing that I learned is our flamer it needs to be in a decent distance, just like the apothecary. Okay, cool. That's another tough pack. These heretics will suffer the ultimate punishment. Okay, we're putting in just double checking. None of our buffs are going, that's correct. So three rounds for immunity. And another five rounds of armor. Very good. The Emperor lights our path. My blade is yours.
Okay, before we're moving any further. Sanctuary, good skill. I am here to serve. Onward, brothers! For that particular type of combination. Alright, seven bleed. We want the nice little bleed stacking, don't we? Alright, here we go. Fiend. Eat this. Okay, and you are completely immune. 15 resistances. Uh, unfortunately, immune to bleed. Okay. Good. Perch and craze these heretics. The holy hand grenade. Did I just throw another bleed? No. Did I? No. I did. <laughs> but now we know bleed stacks because 14 bleed is... Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Unleash me. However, we don't have any uh, any defense going for us. Which is a not so good crazy. Stacking more bleed on top of even more bleed. This guy is bleeding for 18. I might be onto something here. Your command. My blade is ever ready. Moves in. I am the Imperial Shield. And becomes the Imperial Shield. I like that. And let's use the Hela Skull <coughs> to give us at least some defense. Oh, that could be bleed stacking. I like it. Go ahead. Stack the bleed here. We're still okay on the willpower. Let's see what is and what is eleven bleed. Fantastic. Eighteen bleed. Okay. Fourteen bleed down. Praise the Emperor. There you go. Now they are burning on top of it. Your orders. I think our apothecary actually needs the kills most. I am the wrath of Xyphos! The Emperor lights our path. With haste. Burn 
now. I strike true. Terminated. All right. Yeah, the bleed stacking, that is awesome. That's pretty good. My blade is yours. I sir. The flight is ended. Good, last round. Slaves of the Phoenix Emperor. This team definitely can benefit from a little bit of teleportation magic. We shall claim victory with blood. Do we have any disruption? I think we don't. Is this guy here immune to bleed? Yeah. So bleed not good against mechanical creatures. We bring death. But bleed is good against non-mechanical creatures. <clears throat> there you go, burning and cleansing, and a psychotrope grenade. Right, all of them are crazed, I like that. Putting Sanctuary up, that's good. I like the pinned, which will reduce action points next turn of the creature. So what do we have here? Pinned. Minus one for the next turn. He's burning and he's crazed. Well, it's not bad. Since bleed stacks, there is nothing preventing us from putting more bleed onto these poor souls. He's already bleeding for like what? 11? He's dead. So. Might as well hit this guy. Let's go. That's I recommend you fortify until you can be extracted. We have some unpleasant company incoming. Oh yeah, we will fortify. That's what we're good at. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, plenty of Nurgle beasts. Uh, let's see, crazed. You might benefit from that. <clears throat> Burning. Uh, this here looks like we're hitting both of you. Blessed ammunition depleted. Fabulous. As you will. Moving back. Start bleeding guys left and right. Good. More defense in form of a sanctuary. I like that. We need will points. Okay, that sucks. Specifically the dual explosion. This guy here bleeds for how much? Way too much uh, for him to survive. Moving out. You know what? You two just take care of that Hala school here. Oh, they were already crazed. My bad. Pinned, which means he cannot move and will stay in the flames. Fantastic. And we're going to protect whoever is gonna move close to us. Yeah, like I mentioned, the double explosion was a bit unfortunate. Lovely. Alright, fantastic. Well,
I am here to serve. Um, let's heal. There we go. My wrath is restored, me. brother. Titan. Good, you're starting to bleed as well. Is he already burning? No. I will end this corruption. Perched, burning on top. Very good. And we're reloading. I have sanctified my rounds. Let's prevent our immobilization and instead we're moving up and are hitting that thing. Big, fat and ugly. Can make it bleed even more. I love it. Let's do that. In the spirit of this troop, let it bleed. Sixteen points of damage, which means this here <coughs> brings him so close to death. Here, anyways. The team isn't bad. It's actually quite good. We've taken minimal, uh, minimal damage. And I learned a lot about bleed and afflictions in general. It's a bit slower paced than the other teams, but it is very much fun. Granted, the bigger guys need a bit more convincing, but we've done very well. And even the flamer <coughs> had its moments. Good, we're definitely going to go for the three turns craze psychotroke. Terminator armor. Um, extra grenades. That one is good. That one is very good. That's what I've been waiting for. Apparently, Rosal has been hogging all of the experience. Interesting. <clears throat> Very interesting. So all of the bleed kills have been going to them. Although it was a grenade of our purifier. Hmm. That seems awk awkwardly strange. All right, in terms of loadout, this gives us a new servicer. We're going to use the Hala School here. I was con um, contemplating whether we wanted maybe <coughs> a vulnerability school as well. And the second 
change here, now that that is freed up, would be with our Terminator. Who is... Um, uh, our Paladin, sorry. Who is... not to be found. There we go. Kale. So... Hmm. I like your max defense loadout that's not bad but i was wondering given that you have so much armor whether four armor instead of seven and a couple of grenades would make a better choice now i think the answer is yes which brings me to upgrading this to four armor And since we just freed up a slot, <clears throat> I would like to take a grenade. And how about we're taking this massive red grenade? Seven bleed ignores cover three of these bad boys. Okay, we're going all the way with the theme and then finally the quote-unquote new healer of this Brilliant. let's remove the hailer from you you know what let's keep the hailer hmm do we need more healing or more hailer skulls i think we need more hailer skulls so Brilliant. my initial idea was correct services skulls Let's use the Medai Kai skull. By the way, there is also a, a Purgation skull with uh, burning for f five turns and auto purge. And it has five ammo. That's not bad either. But we do have that as a team already. And I feel that the equipment should substitute for things that you are not having in the team as much. Okay, first impressions. I don't know, guys, you leave your comments uh, in the doobly-doo down below. But my first impression would be the team has actually worked relatively well. Much better than I would have expected. Granted, um, at this point in the game we're being carried to a degree with uh, the equipment. So this team, to, to build the same team here, just off, uh, off fresh... Uh, Grey Knights would be a bit more complicated. That being said, I think we might be onto something. It's not bad. It's not it definitely not as good as the others, but it is not nearly as bad as any of uh, the initial teams that uh, that we had. So <clears throat> I want to continue exploring that idea a little bit more, but that needs to happen in the next episode. For now, we're done. We're done, done. Thanks a lot for watching. We're going to, uh, next time, have this mission before we're having a boss fight. Destroy a bloom spawn spreader, which is a hard mission. And we're going to try to do that uh, with uh, the tools that we have uh, been uh, given and yeah i mean uh, we can't easily just kill the bloom spawn spreader which will make this a bit more of an interesting mission because our team really needs to come together in this one thanks a lot for watching have a good one and see you in the next episode bye bye